here we're considering the same reaction as before, C2H2 plus 2H2 goes to C2H6. Part B, suppose now that 15 kilomoles per hour of acetylene and 25 kilomoles per hour of hydrogen are fed into the reactor. Again, we're to find the limiting reactant and the fractional excess of the other reactant. So what is our solution? We start exactly the same way as we did before. We let C equal the maximum extent of reaction. We have the same three reactants. And our coefficients are the same, one, two, and one. And we say to ourselves, which is the limiting reactant, exactly the same way. And we say, let's start with C2H2, which would mean that one C is 15 kilomoles per hour. And we see immediately that we have rates. So we go back and we add dots to indicate rates for everything. And if we have 15 kilomoles per hour as 1C, that would mean that for hydrogen, we need 2C dots, which would be 2 times 15 kilomoles per hour, which would be 30 kilomoles per hour. And we say, ooh, we don't have that much. This is greater than what we have. So that would mean that H2 is now the limiting reactant. So this becomes the limiting reactant and we have, so now we have to solve again for C. This is no good. So we, since H2 is the limiting reactant, Then we say to ourselves, this, this means that 2C dot is equal to 25 kilomoles per hour, which would imply that C dot is equal to 25 divided by 2 kilomoles an hour equal to 12.5 kilomoles per hour. And this would imply that C2H2, which is being used at the rate of one C dot, would be 12.5 kilomoles per hour being consumed, is consumed when the maximum reaction is. So now we can calculate the fractional excess of C2H2. And it's fed minus consumed. How much was fed? 15. How much was consumed? 12.5 divided by 12.5. Everything is kilomoles per hour, so it cancels. So we have 2.5 over 12.5. Get a calculator. 2.5 divided by 12.5 should be 0.2, right? Is 0.2 equal to 20%. So our answers are H2 is the limiting reactant and the fractional excess of acetylene is 20%.